Welcome back to Staying Fervent. I'm Tracy, where we encourage you to stay fervent in God. Thank you so much for tuning in today and staying fervent with me. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more on our subject on clean, what it means to cling to God. So we know that cling means to hold tightly and closely to something. And that's how God wants us to stay close to him, tightly and closely drawn to him. When I say cling, sometimes I'm reminded of a thought of when I used to watch the geographical channel with my children and how the little baby monkeys and gorillas would cling to their parents. They would cling so tightly anywhere it seems they can fit in, but they would not let that parent go. In our relationships with God, we have to cling to his word to make it in this day and age, to make it through the things that we go through, to make it through the seasons and the things that we face. It is a good thing to cling to God's word. So I want to share these three things that I do to cling to God, and I hope they bless you. Number one, I make prayer a priority. I make sure that I spend time with God in prayer. I do so because every relationship requires communication. Prayer is communicating and talking with God, telling him all about it, about everything, your desires, your emotions, everything that you're facing and that you're going through, meditating on his word, and also praying for other people, standing in the gap and being an intercessor for others. You know, Jesus encouraged us all to pray. He said we are to pray and not faint. Luke 18, 1, he tells us to be persistent in prayer, just like the persistent woman who would not give up. And Jesus likens our relationship with talking to the Father this way. We should not give up on prayer. In 2 Thessalonians 5, 17, he tells us to pray and not faint. Basically, he's telling us that God will come through and to be patient and that God will work everything out according to his will. And of course, Jesus himself was an excellent example of prayer. He always was going off to pray. He always was leaving the disciples, going to pray to the Father. My insight here is that he was going to get instruction. He was going to get peace. He was going to get meditation. He was going to get a word. He was just going to fellowship with the Father. And in prayer, that's what we do. We go to get instruction. We go to get peace. We go to give honor. We go to give worship unto God. We go to talk to him. Prayer must be our go-to. We should be clinging to God in prayer. And number two, another best way to cling to God is to give his word priority. Give God's word great attention. Give God's word your ear. Give it great attention in your life. Let it lead you. Let it guide you. The psalmist said that God's word was a lamp unto his feet and a light unto his pathway. God's word will light up our path. It'll show us which way to go. It gives illumination to us. And God's word holds great power because God's word is God's voice. Directing us, leading us, guiding us, showing us the way. God said that he would never leave us and never forsake us. And he shows his presence in our life through his word. And this is another reason why we should give great attention to it because God's word is his voice and God's word will reveal God's will for us. God's word is our direction and it's our protection. It'll lead and guide us and keep us from going astray. We are to read God's word, meditate on God's word, and let it be the standard for our lives. And remember that God's word, it'll never steer us wrong. It'll never take us in the wrong direction. It'll never take us to a place where we don't need to be. And that's because God is the master shepherd. He knows how to lead and guide his children. So number two, clinging is allowing God's word to be the authority and the say-so in our lives. And number three, I cling to God by asking him to create in me a clean heart and renew in me the right spirit. And I want to have a heart that pleases God. King David prayed this prayer because he wanted God in his heart. He wanted God to renew him and lead and guide him. He didn't want to miss God. And so I don't want to miss God. And I know you don't want to miss God. So pray that God daily creating you a clean heart and renewing you the right spirit so you can have the right mind and heart towards God, towards life, toward his word, toward people, toward anything that he's having you to do. And so that's why this prayer is on my list to clinging to God. Well, I pray you found these tips helpful and encouraging. I'll leave them down below. And also, if you have other ways that you cling to God, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear about them. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. And remember to stay fervent.